And what I'm going to be doing is showing you the um, purple bean harvest that we'll do. And I think it's all sort of time for me to harvest the kohlrabi. I said in a previous video that I would be looking for the kohlrabi to reach about tennis ball size. And we're there, so I'm looking forward to harvesting that. And like with any beans, you just gently pinch it off from the main plant, trying to make sure that you don't damage the other smaller pods that are forming behind. And also, um, just making sure you get the ones that are ready for picking. So I'm looking at these and I like them not to get much bigger than pencil size in terms of thickness and we're talking at that stage they're a lot tender. So I'm going to be harvesting a couple of my kohlrabi plants. I've said in a previous video that I've never grown kohlrabi before so I'm particularly interested in whether or not I've timed it right in terms of the actual harvest. Um, I did see an old video clip online and actually remember seeing it while it was on TV in the 80s. Um, a program called Victorian Kitchen Garden and um, the head gardener was saying that the kohlrabi he was growing, he didn't like them to get, certainly not anywhere near tennis ball size uh, because they would get a bit woody but I'm hoping the newer varieties that we are growing these days um, are more tender and allow us to let the um, vegetable get a little bit bigger we can have a look at how one of the bottle gourds is doing um, I put this one into a substantially large pot and no surprises it's doing much better than the other one in a smaller pot um, this particular plant looks a lot healthier and if I move over to this side you can see a small bottle gourd forming and once they get going it literally takes a couple of weeks and they're ready for harvest I do a little update on the chili plants that I planted directly into the um, former lettuce bed in the polytunnel um, there's plenty of new flowers coming through and there are one or two pods that have already developed quite well and chilies like tomatoes particularly enjoy the kind of warmth and heat that we've been getting in the last fortnight just means I've got to keep on top of the watering a lot more right so you remember this um courgette plant that uh, we had a look at a few weeks ago and Chris is just about to harvest some courgette so don't let me stop you. Right, here we go. The smaller they are they tend to be sweeter so that's perhaps a little bit bigger it's kind of like that size where with, the with, sweetest. And with the flower with head the flower still, still on it a bit. Yeah, yeah. which you can deep fry, you can batter that and deep fry it with Super. some cheese. But there we go. Oh nice one, look at that. And they're nice stir fried. They with are scrambled eggs. And you tend not to even today find too many of the yellow courgettes in the supermarkets. No, no, it tends to the be variety. it tends to be the green variety, which is yeah. why 
that's the virtue of growing your own. You can grow varieties that aren't always available in yeah. the shops. More unusual varieties, that's right. That's it. This will be a hybrid one, I'm sure of it, but nevertheless, in fact, pretty sure it is. If you look at the, the vigour of the plant, it suggests it is a hybrid, but you know, the, the only thing with hybrids is you're unlikely to grow it on and get the same plant again. Yeah. Um, but nevertheless, it's it's a superb plant to grow, and I've got a couple of courgettes, but they're they're not at this stage that yours has uh, reached. Great. One of the important parts of gardening, I think, certainly in my case, is the idea of harvesting. Or collecting seeds that I can then plant in future years um, I think as much as we can we should be looking to collect seeds of plants that have done well so that you can grow on in future years and in front of me I've got some kale that I did a video on quite a while ago um, how I let that plant go to bolt and I didn't dig it up because I wanted it to get to this stage where the seed pods had formed. If you remember, it was a plant with lots of yellow flowers and just on the close inspection, I can see that it's dry enough for me to collect these pods and then um, possibly dry a bit further and keep for future years. And now, I happen to know that this is a variety that isn't uh, an F1 hybrid, so I have no concerns about um, getting kale um, that I've grown this year, next year. Just before I start harvesting from this plant I want to show you um, an adjacent kale plant which um, isn't ready for harvesting and you can tell straight away um, although the pods are really well developed they are still green and onto the touch you can feel that the plant is still um, containing a lot of moisture um, whereas this one feels dry to the touch and I don't know whether you can pick it up on the camera sound it's certainly ready to to harvest from so I've um, harvested some purple beans and the two kohlrabis um, and what do you know the uh, mushroom container from one of my earlier episodes has returned and I've just had a look at something that I could put my beans in and this will do so um, I have hope you've seen uh, a couple of things that you might consider growing and um, yeah Thanks for watching.